Hello Leo and welcome to your reading. We're going to do a reading for spring, so your spring outlook for 2021. I'll give you some clarity about what is to come in spring. So Leo, you are worth it. So this is about valuing yourself. So putting yourself first, really taking yourself into account and really knowing that you are worth it. So self-love here as well. King of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. And Two of Pentacles. Okay, Leo. So in the spring, there is definitely going to be um, a balancing out for you. And... Definitely putting yourself first, but also really balancing. This could be, you know, juggling different areas of your life or different parts of yourself. And we're going to pull some cards from the angelic realm as well to help you through spring for a little more guidance. So we have goddesses express your divine feminine energy, embrace its magical intuition and nurturing qualities. So this with the divine feminine, even if you are a male, it's going to be important to tap into that side. And then books, your life purpose involves writing, reading, editing, or selling spiritually based books. So you might want to, <laughs> probably not all of you, but... Some of you take that to heart. Um, this might be an area of your life that you need balancing out. Like maybe you do something else and you really want to be a writer or you really want to do something um, else with your time or with your life or you want to move in a different direction and you feel kind of split between worlds. Well, that's a whole other area for you to really being able to figure out, to kind of keep the balance. And sometimes it's not a choice. Sometimes it is about like keeping the balance, like figuring out how to do both things at the same time and really putting yourself first here. So with the King of Pentacles and the You Are Worth It card, really, really doing that, really putting yourself first, really valuing yourself and bringing yourself abundance with whatever, however you choose to balance out these two variables in your life here. And in spring is really when you're going to figure out how to do that. And when you're going through this journey and really seeing how there are at least two very prominent things where you're either going to have to choose one or the other or you're going to have to make a balance of the two if you want to keep it in your life. But whatever it is for you, Leo. And it's going to be very important to just do that, to value yourself and to really put yourself and your interests and what is important to you before everything else and everyone else. So really figure out what it is that you want and what you want your life to be. Because if it's one area or the other area you don't necessarily have to pick between choose between the two areas I mean there is a balance here between you know between night and day between like even if it's that extreme you can you can balance it out you can find the common ground and the, the calm area in between where you can feel comfortable And where you are in your life. But just remember to be that powerful king in spring and really dominate your life. Put yourself first. And whatever it is, like whatever balance you choose or however you choose to balance this out, um, there is going to be some abundance with that coming for you. And it's going to lead to death and to really good things. This could have been something that you that's been weighing on you, something that you've been having difficulty with, not really knowing how to go about it. 
And then spring is really the time where you figure out how to do that, where you figure out how to make the balance here. So this is your spring forecast or your spring outlook, Leo. Um, take care. I wish you the best of luck in spring. Bye, Leo.